Tooltips are basically the information that appears when you hover on your tablet dashboards or visualizations. And a good example of a tooltip is, uh, let me just create a, a simple bar chart using subcategory and cells. And of course, this is a bar chart. Let me sort it in descending order by cells. And of course, label it. Of course, I can hide uh, these labels, field labels, and of course, the title. And now the information that you see when you hover on this view is basically what we call the tooltips. And we can be able to format these two tips uh, basically to make uh, them more communicative to our users. And a simple way to format your two tips, uh, you can format it to change the font, the size, of course, the alignment and, and, and such like things. And to format your two tips, you're just going to come to the tool tip. And from here, you can be able to format it by changing the, uh, the font. Uh, the size, and of course, you can be able to use the different, uh, make it bold, uh, italic, underlined, and of course, use color and all these alignments. You can be able to use them to make uh, to make these two tips more communicative to your users or even uh, match your uh, dashboard theme. For example, I can be able to format these two tips, use a different font. In this case, I'm going to choose Tableau Bold. I uh, can increase the size of the uh, the dimension, probably pick something like 12, make it a little bit bigger and a different color, maybe this one. And of course, the amount of cells, a bigger size and of course, a different color. That's one way. And as you can see, when you hover, uh, those particular formatting options we've done are now available uh, on the tooltips. So I would say those are the basics that you can do to format your tooltips. Uh, the other way you can also make these tooltips more communicative to your users. Rather than just showing the subcategory and the sales numbers, you can customize these tooltips to make them more communicative to your users. For example, I can show, or rather I can tell the user the rank of that particular subcategory and the amount in a more communicative way. For example, let me create a new calculated field and I'm just going to call it index. And the details of this calculation will simply be index, which is a table calculation. And I'm going to drag this new calculation to here and change it to discrete. Then I'm going to add it to the view. Let me add it because I don't want it to be visible. And of course I can format the view to remove all these uh, lines. Uh, for this case, I won't do that. And now I can format this view by coming to the tooltips. But now instead of just showing the subcategory and the amount of sales, I'm going to say uh, the subcategory, the subcategory uh, chairs or tables, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, was ranked. Let's say position, position. Uh, one, two, three, whichever the position of uh, it is. And in this case, I just want to add uh, the index because index is showing the position of that uh, particular subcategory. So I'm going to pull index, insert index here. So the subcategory forms was ranked position one with, let's say with um, X amount, In cells, let me uh, format, use a common font, tablet book, size 12. And of course I can use a lighter color and let me make the dimension more dark. And of course the index, I can use a different color. It's going to depend with yourself. Let me just use a dark color and the amount of cells a different color. And now, as you can see, this new tooltip will be much more interpretable than the default or rather the normal, uh, the default tooltips you're going to get from Tableau. So you can see when you hover, uh, users can be able to access more interpretable tooltips. For example, here, the subcategory chairs was ranked position two with 328,449 
uh, US dollars itself. So using the same approach, you can come up with different ways of customizing your tool tips to make them more communicative uh, to your users. You can also add what we call a viz or a visualization within your tool tip. And basically what that it means is uh, when you hover on your viz, basically what you're going to see, it's another visualization within the same visualization that you've created. And to do that, first of all, we have to create now the visualization that we want to add in our viz. So for example, let's say on top of the amount that was generated by the different subcategories, let's say we want to show the breakdown of that amount for different uh, years, we can do that by creating a different view. So in this case, I'm going to create a view showing the cells for different years. So I drank cells, order date to rows and cells to columns. Let me change this one to a bar, of course, sort it in descending order by cells, label it. I can also add the title and of course these uh, field labels. And of course, I don't want to show the axis. And you can do any other customization that you want to do. For this case, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then to add it in our view, or rather in the other view, I'll go back to sheet two. And now to add the Vs in the tooltip, I'll go to the tooltip. Uh, you can customize the information the way you want. For this case, let me just clear this information. But for your case, you can customize it as you wish. In order to add the Vs in the tooltip, I simply come to insert and other sheets. I'm going to add sheet three, or basically the sheet whereby we've created the Vs we want to display here, and click OK. And now you can see when you hover on your view, Tableau is displaying another view within that uh, same view. And basically that's what we call a Vs uh, within the Vs. And with that, you can be able to see the breakdown of the cells that was generated by that particular subcategory in different years. And basically, that's how you can be able to customize your tooltips and also add what we call the Vs in the tooltips. And that's all. Thanks, everyone.